The Sunday Scoop by Stuart J. Murphy, read to you by Math Stervakis. Kids, look at the sign on the wall, School Picnic, next week. Winnie, the lady in charge of the cafeteria, was running the ice cream booth for the school picnic. Lauren, James, Emily, and Winnie's cat, Marshmallow, were all on hand to help her out. I have a stupendous idea. Let's make Sundays, said Winnie. Cool, said James. If we make all kinds of different Sundays, we'll have the best booth at the picnic. Put on your thinking caps, said Winnie. What kind of ice cream should we serve? Chocolate, said Lauren. That's my favorite. Bubble gum, said James. Peppermint stick, said Emily. Whoa, that's too many complained Winnie. Let's just have vanilla and chocolate. Now what's the scoop on sauces? asked Winnie. Vanilla with caramel, said Emily. Caramel's my favorite. Chocolate with hot fudge, said Lauren. They already sound yummy, said James. Fabulous, said Winnie. I'll draw up a chart on my chalkboard. If we have two kinds of ice cream and two kinds of sauce, that makes, let's see, how many kinds of sundaes? It looks like four, said James. Kids, look at the chart. These are the sundae combos. You can have vanilla ice cream with hot fudge or caramel sauce, or you can have chocolate ice cream with hot fudge or caramel sauce. So there are four different Sunday combos that you can choose from right now. Let's continue. What about nuts? said Lauren. And sprinkles, said James. Sprinkles are my favorite. Right on, said Winnie. Sundays need toppings too. I hope that will be enough different combinations, said Emily, frowning. It's more than you think, said Winnie. Each Sunday will have one flavor of ice cream, one sauce, and one topping, said Winnie. The first combination is vanilla, hot fudge, and sprinkles. Oh, I get it, said Lauren. Or you could have vanilla, caramel, and sprinkles. That's great, said James. Now there are eight different choices. That's plenty. Kids, let's look at the chart now. We have two ice cream flavors, vanilla and chocolate. Let's look at the vanilla ice cream flavor and follow the arrows. We can have vanilla ice cream with hot fudge and sprinkles, or vanilla ice cream with hot fudge and nuts, or vanilla ice cream with caramel and sprinkles, or vanilla ice cream with caramel and nuts. Now let's look at chocolate. We can have chocolate ice cream with hot fudge and sprinkles, or chocolate ice cream with hot fudge and nuts, or chocolate ice cream with caramel and sprinkles, or chocolate ice cream with caramel and nuts. Altogether, kids, there are eight different choices for Sundays. Let's continue. The day of the picnic was sunny and warm. Everybody wanted Sundays. Let's get scooping, said Winnie. Look at the line, Lauren whispered to Emily. Emily looked up. I hope we still have all our favorites left for ourselves, she said. Emily scooped. James poured the sauce. Winnie added the nuts. And Lauren did a little dance as she shook out the sprinkles. And a one. And a two. And a one, two. Whoops! She said. That was all the sprinkles we had, complained Emily. Yeah, said James. There goes my favorite. Marshmallow didn't seem to mind. Kids, look at Marshmallow the cat. He doesn't mind eating the sprinkles, does he? Let's continue. Better change the sign, said Winnie. Now we're down to four kinds of sundaes. Kids, because Lauren spilled the sprinkles... There are no more sprinkles left for the Sundays, 
so they're crossed out. Now their choices are vanilla ice cream with hot fudge and nuts, or vanilla ice cream with caramel and nuts, or chocolate ice cream with hot fudge and nuts, or chocolate ice cream with caramel and nuts. James started to pour the caramel sauce for the next Sunday. Watch out for marshmallow, said Lauren. Where? asked James. James, said Emily. Look where you're pouring. Oops, said James. That's it for the caramel sauce, said Lauren. My favorite, said Emily sadly. Now there are only two Sundays to choose from said James. Well, kids, we need a topping to have a sundae. Now we only have vanilla ice cream with hot fudge and nuts, or chocolate ice cream with hot fudge and nuts. We don't have any more caramel topping, so we're only left with two choices of sundaes, vanilla with hot fudge and nuts, and chocolate with hot fudge and nuts. Let's continue. The sun got hotter and hotter. Scoop faster, Winnie told Emily. The chocolate ice cream is turning into chocolate soup. Emily scooped as fast as she could, but it wasn't fast enough. There goes my favorite, sighed Lauren. It looks like it's Marshmallow's favorite, too, said James. Better change the sign, Winnie said. That was the last person in line, said Emily. Thank goodness, now we can have our own Sundays. But there are no more sprinkles, said James. Or caramel sauce, said Emily. No chocolate ice cream either, added Lauren. Meow, said Marshmallow. By gum, you're right, said Winnie. There's just one kind of Sunday left. Vanilla ice cream with hot fudge and nuts. That's it. There is no more chocolate ice cream, and we don't have any more caramel topping or sprinkles, so we're only left with vanilla ice cream with hot fudge and nuts. Vanilla ice cream, hot fudge, and nuts, said Winnie. My favorite. Pass me a spoon. Well, kids, they do have Sundays after all. And Lauren doesn't look too happy with Marshmallow, does she? Marshmallow looks really happy and dirty. Well, kids, at least we get to see what the ice cream sundae choices were in the beginning of the story. We had chocolate ice cream with hot fudge and nuts, or chocolate ice cream with hot fudge and sprinkles, or chocolate ice cream with caramel and nuts, or chocolate ice cream with caramel and sprinkles. So we had four different Sunday choices with chocolate ice cream. We also had four different Sunday choices with vanilla ice cream. We had vanilla ice cream with hot fudge and nuts, vanilla ice cream with hot fudge and sprinkles, vanilla ice cream with caramel and nuts, vanilla ice cream with caramel and sprinkles. So we had four different ice cream sundae choices for vanilla. Eight total ice cream choices. This is an extension activity. You can have students think of and list several different pizza crusts and toppings. Then have them draw tree diagrams or lists of all the different combinations of pizzas and toppings to choose from. Then have them practice finding the probability of choosing certain pizzas. Be aware, math is everywhere. If you'd like to buy a copy of the Sunday Scoop, the publisher is HarperCollins.